Hello, my name's Nin Nikola and I'm a climate change coordinator at IUCN. We all know that climate change is happening and that we humans are one of the great causes of this problem. Whether it's the transport we use, the trees we cut down or the industry we have, we are all increasing our greenhouse gas emissions. We need to reduce our emissions urgently, otherwise we run the risk of global temperatures increasing over 2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. This means that we won't be having enough food, no more water resources, we'll start destroying our environment, species will go extinct. This is why global leaders are meeting this year in Copenhagen at the United Nations Framework Convention for Climate Change. Countries will be discussing how to reduce global emissions, how can all countries contribute to solving this global problem. On the other hand, they'll also be discussing the issue of developing countries, because those least responsible for causing climate change are those suffering most. And what is IUCN, a conservation organization, doing about this? Well, we think that nature offers solutions, both to reduce our emissions and to help our us deal with the problems that we're already facing. There are other solutions available which local communities can build on. For example, they can look into planting mangroves. This is a resource that they already have. This mangrove can help reduce the impact of flooding coming into the coastal area. It can also provide habitat for fish on which the local people depend for their food. And they can also sequester carbon. These are all benefits that nature can provide. IUCN is working to make sure that nature's voice is heard in Copenhagen. What do you think that world leaders should be discussing in Copenhagen? What should be included in the new international climate deal? Join our discussions and post your comments on the connect to earth website. Let's work together on the road to Copenhagen.